The World War II History of St Andrew's Park Number three in a series of six information panels about St Andrew's Park. In 1939, Britain prepared for war, and St Andrew's Park was actively involved. Water was a major concern. If bombs ruptured the mains water pipes, then fires could not be extinguished. And so reservoirs were dug and filled with water. The reservoir in the park survives today as the children's paddling pool. Barrage balloons were essential to protect wartime factories in Bristol. At the top of the park, a balloon station was built with equipment to raise and lower the balloons that could cripple an aircraft. The barrage balloon operators were allowed to dig up a small part of the park to grow vegetables. St Andrew's Park had its own underground air raid shelter. It's likely that it remains hidden under the park, although its exact location remains unknown. Wartime St Andrew's had its share of tragedy. Three out of the four Bulls brothers from Morris Road, one of whom was involved in the rescue of the Wellington bomber crew, were killed on active service in the RAF. There was a stained glass window in their memory in David Thomas Church in Effingham Road. When the church was converted into flats, the window was given to the RAF Museum, Hendon. The story of the Wellington bomber crash. On the evening of April 30th, 1941, an RAF Wellington bomber carrying bombs and ammunition struck the cable of a barrage balloon over Purdown in Bristol. The cable became wrapped around the bomber's wing. The plane flew on in the direction of St Andrews, but was badly losing height. The huge aircraft flew low just above the rooftops and along the length of Norfolk Avenue. Finally, the plane sliced off the top half of a cedar tree along Morris Road, still visible today from the cafe. The cable then wrapped itself round an adjacent tree, pulling it from the ground. A courting couple ran for their lives. The plane slewed round, the tail broke off and bedded itself in the park. The rest of the plane slid on up the hill, beyond what is now the top of the children's play area. It split into two pieces on impact, burning in flames just short of Somerville Road, where the memorial plaque is located. Three crew died, and three were rescued by brave local people who faced burning kerosene, stray bullets and minor explosions. One young probationary policeman, P.C. Westlake, from the Somerville Road Police Station, entered the burning wreck to save the life of one of the crew. Westlake tragically died a few years later in a car accident, on the day his daughter Karen was born. In 2009, Karen Riley received a posthumous award from Bristol and Somerset Police in recognition of her father's bravery. Did you know all the original railings around the edges of the park were sawn off and the iron used for the war effort in the early 1940s? In 1942, a large static water tank was constructed for emergency use this is the origin of the paddling pool, completed in 1951. Where the tea garden now stands was once the site of an air raid shelter during the Second World War. With thanks to historian David Kemlin, John Clark, grandson of Sergeant Charles Clark. You can find information on wwwwellington t 2905 .co.uk. Stained glass window photograph is copyright of the trustees of the Royal Air Force Museum. Read by John Telfer for the Friends of St Andrew's Park. <laughs>